Hello everyone, I'm Jay from TechForce and today we are looking at um, how to do a phishing test, baseline phishing test, right? We speak to loads of businesses um, and when we speak to them, they usually say, hey, we have done a phishing test recently and the results were awesome, good. No, no people clicking. I mean, three, only 3%, only 5% people clicking. That's still a risk, but you know, and I asked them, right, how many people open your email, the phishing test email? Oh, 40%. So 60% haven't even opened. Uh, how many templates did you use? How many email te templates did you use for the test? Just one. Just one. So the first person who spots it as a test went around and told everybody not to open. It's a test. Or messaged everyone somehow. You get the gist, right? And then they're like, oh yeah, that could be right. I'm not saying more everybody that does it uh, does it that way, but you know, that happens a lot. So how do you actually do a proper phishing test? Right, here is um, here is a few steps. Um, first things first, housekeeping. So whatever the platform you're using, there are a number of different platforms you can use, uh, free ones, paid ones. We have done some recommendations before how to pick a platform. Uh, please uh, go through our blogs or videos. If not, get in touch, give me a call. 0124516181 we will happily advise you it doesn't cost you anything right so um, whatever platform you're using make sure the emails from that server is not being blacklisted or not going to junk mail or not being tagged as external you know you get the gist right so next thing look at your users where they are the location language they use and make I would localize any any phishing emails right so localize in the sense, we'll look at it in the, in the next step, right? So templates, pick different templates, not just one template for everybody. The rule of thumb we have here is if you have 100, 100 users, a dozen templates, 500 users, maybe three dozens or, or 60 templates, five dozens, right? So you get the gist. So that way you could randomize the templates. So your phishing platform, whatever you're using um, should help should have a um, option to randomize the templates so no few people get the same email somebody gets office 365 password reset somebody else get paypal uh, money transfer request or something somebody else gets amazon um, order um, delivery order. You, you get the idea so and also um i'll, I'll look at the, the timings and stuff in, in a minute so that's the idea right so again um depending on the um location your users are based in if you if your users are based in somewhere in middle east or or you want you may want to send some templates in arabic or or you know um, norway norwegian templates you know and localize them and also as if there's something going on in, in trending externally if there, is, there is news or something going on internally you just announced a new pension scheme new pension scheme new holiday scheme or whatever you know um, make sure probably I would pick some templates regarding to that so it's all about checking your users and um, if they are I mean measuring if they are aware of these things right so you need to get proper results so I would um, customize them don't make it too hard so if you're using platform we use um, there are star rating for each template so five star means it's very hard to spot we usually recommend using four star templates um, that's what we use when we do the baseline test, right? So you get the idea. There are so many options you can pick from. Um, the platform we use has 2,700 phishing templates. Um, so you have a ton of options there, right? Landing page. Um, so what happens when somebody clicks on the phishing email? Um, you know, I would say landing page to be basic, 404 error page so that they don't suspect, just move on with the word. Um, this is for the baseline test, not for um, the test after that, right? So timelines, I would um, don't, again, many people say, we delivered all those phishing emails, the test emails in a single day once. Now, I would suggest um, you do that over, you deliver the emails over three days, four days, five days, depending on how many users you have. Um, and also track them for two, two weeks, at least two weeks because people are on holiday, people are away from work, people are not checking their emails, you know, or people are saying, right, this is not the priority, I'll check, I'll, I'll check it later. So have two two weeks, track it for two weeks, then you, you, you 
make sure, I mean like, you need to get at least 90, 95% of open rate people opening and then you get good, good results, right? You can actually see all this um, reports, how many people opening, how many people clicked on the link, how many people um, entered their, op I mean, open the attachment, how many people enter their credentials in a, in a login page. You can see all that if you're using platform we use. Um, again, this is not a promotion for what we, the, for the platform we use. You pick whatever suits your business. So, and the reports, run the reports. The reports really depends on the data you're feeding the system in terms of users. So the user has, uh, do they have department? Do they have line manager? Do they have location? Do they have different metrics? And then you can do the reports like, okay, finance team has, uh, you know, 25% click rate, uh, sales team has 30% and an engineering team has 10% or not, so you can do all that. Or for example, oh, this line managers, this team is doing uh, pretty bad, this team is doing okay. You can do all those reports uh, and show it to your uh, your board, right? So uh, make sure you, 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 you run these reports. Um, I mean, different platforms offer different solution. Um, PDF, CSV, all that good stuff, right? So this is how you do a baseline. The baseline task, baseline fishing task for the most important thing being uh, templates and uh, randomizing them, randomizing them and using really good templates. Um, you know, Office 365, whatever you use in your business, if you're using Office 365, use some templates related to that, as well as some others. Also, maybe you're using HubSpot or Salesforce, use some templates for that. Um, HMRC, um, if you're in UK, or if you're in US, uh, you know, Thanksgiving day or whatever, you, you get the gist, right? So there's a number of different templates to pick from. Pick various different templates and randomize them so that people get different templates on different days and you get proper results. Does that make sense? So if you need help with all this and, um, you know, give us a call. Um, I'm Jay from TechForce. We are on 01224516181. We do this week in, week out for our customers. We absolutely can help you. You know, if you need help, give us a call, but do it right. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like and comment below. And for more good stuff, more useful tips and tricks, follow our company LinkedIn page as well as subscribe to our YouTube channel. You have a great day. Thank you.